It is summertime and you never have enough hamburger recipes for summer grilling, right? Well, Mo Schlachter with the Texas Beef Council is with us now. Mo, thanks for being here. Thank you You're for teach. having me. Absolutely. So this looks really good. Yep. We're putting a nutritious spin on a Texas summertime favorite with our Western Burgers. Mm. Now at just 256 calories, these burgers are light on the waist and big on flavor. So let's go ahead and get started. We got 93% lean ground beef. And nice. as a dietitian, that's really important to me. It's low in fat, really high in protein. It's got zinc, iron, B12, all the good stuff. Now, if you'll help me out, all we right. got some familiar Texas flavors. We got one chopped jalapeno, all right. seeds removed to keep that heat in check. We got two teaspoons each of onion and cilantro. Onion, down, mm -hmm. and cilantro. And that That'll cilantro. give a little Texas flavor. Yep, those herbs, definitely recognizable. Um, and we got a pinch of salt and pepper. All right, there we go. It's that simple. Now, some tips from the Texas Beef Council when preparing the perfect juicy burger. We'll want to gently work the ingredients into the meat and avoid over mixing because that can lead to a tough end product. What do you mean over mixing? Well, just kind of kneading it till to death, basically. Okay. You know, we just want to keep it nice and fluffy so that the end product is juicy. Okay. Now, we also want to keep these patties nice and evenly formed so that they cook evenly on the grill. We can even make a little indent here so that they keep their shape while cooking. Oh, okay. Well, that's a nice little trick. Yep. So we're going to move these guys to the grill. Now, we got the grill set to about 350 degrees, about medium, um, and that's important because we want the inside to reach that safe and savory 160 degrees without uh, charring the outside. We also want to leave these guys alone while they cook, about seven to nine minutes, uh, flip once about halfway through, uh, and then kind of leave them alone. You can stick a thermometer into the side just to make sure they get up to that 160. Okay. Also, no mashing down on them. We don't want <laughs> all that juice running out. I always had a bad habit of doing that. Yeah, yeah you, you just make sure it's cooked and you can hear all the juices. Exactly, and there oh. they go and, and they're gone forever. Now you can find these great tips at Texas, uh, Beef Loving Texan, beeflovingtexans.com. Yeah. Um, now we got one here that looks about ready. It says it right there, Beef Loving Texans. Mm -hmm. Good to go. Oh, that looks just delicious, Mo. Now look at this. We are bumping the bun today and using fresh, crisp lettuce. Now oh. that's going to reduce the calories and carbohydrates while also, you know, increasing the nutrition on that. We have... I was going to ask you where the bun was. Exactly. <laughs> we didn't forget it. We're just kind of... Uh, moving that aside today, we got tomatoes, avocado, and onion, and that's going to enhance the flavor and also really, uh, you know, give you a nice presentation. Okay. Now, this is going to, the lean beef, the fresh veggies are going to keep you feeling full for longer, and it's going to give you uh, a healthy, nutritious, and affordable meal. And you can find this great recipe and more at BeefLovingTexans.com. All right, excellent. Mo, thank you so much. Thank you for having me job. today. I can't wait to taste that. Yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, one of my favorites and great for Father's Day. Mm, yeah. All right.